Hi, I'm Krista Jacobson, headmistress of the Buddha Yukai, where we teach authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. In today's video, we're going to be talking about ninja night raids, ninja night attacks, what a ninja would wear on a night raid. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, this information is going to be coming from multiple different sources, but the primary source that we're going to be using is the Bonsen Shukai. Now, the Bonsen Shukai was written in 1676 by Fujibayashi Yasutake, and it is known as the Bible of Ninjutsu. Now, before I begin, I always give a shout out to all of my new viewers. So, if this is the first video that you guys have seen of me, my name is Krista Jacobson. I'm the headmistress of the Buddha Yukai, which means School of the Warrior Way. We teach Koryu Ninjutsu and Koryu Bujutsu, so the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. This organization does have other areas of focus, such as reality-based self-defense, weapons training and tactics, survival skills, martial arts theory, thought, and philosophy, martial arts conditioning. If any of these topics interest you at all, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell. I do post two to three videos every single week. So if you're interested in any of these topics, please subscribe, click the bell, and keep up with what we're doing. So today we're going to be talking about ninja night raids, ninja night attacks, and what a ninja would wear when they go on a night raid. Now, Again, we're going to be using multiple sources to discuss this particular topic today. Again, the primary source is the Bonsen Shukai. Now, in the Bonsen Shukai, Fujibayashi does talk about night raids, and this is what he says. The night raid is a military tactic to defeat a large number with an inferior force. This is especially true of a shinobi night raid, which can dramatically defeat a large army with the smallest of numbers. So here Fujibayashi is basically saying that a night raid, a shinobi night raid, is when you use a small tactical unit to go into a larger force at night to eliminate a larger force when they don't know that it's coming. It's a surprise attack. And this is the purpose of a Shinobi night raid. He then goes on to give two points as to why you would send Ninja out to do night raids. And this is what he says. Point number one. Before you depart for a night attack, you should send Shinobi to closely investigate the enemy situation and then construct your plans based on this information. Sometimes they should stay there with a castle or camp and communicate the situation back to your side with various signals, which should be arranged beforehand. Point number two. It is essential to send Shinobi to investigate the topography of the area, how densely populated the enemy army is and the status of its camp, and to share this information and give instructions accordingly. Now along with writing these two points on why you would send a ninja out to do a night raid, Fujibayashi also writes an old ninja poem pertaining to ninja night raids, and this is what he writes. For success on a night attack, send Shinobi in advance to know the details of the enemy's position before you give orders. Now at this point in the Bonsen Shikai, Fujibayashi talks about what night raids are, why they're so important, and why you should send ninja out to do night raids. He also goes on to talk about what ninja should wear when they go out on a night raid or on a night attack. And in this section, he gives four points on what a ninja should wear when going out on a night raid. Point number one. Do not wear a white kosode jacket, the reason will be taught through Kuden. On secret night attacks, wear a black fute, which is a double-layered black top. Point number two, do not carry a sashimono warrior's banner and wear no armor, but only a set of kikomi. And for those of you guys that don't know what kikomi is, kikomi is a, um, the Japanese version of a chainmail shirt. Point number three, put a strip of white silk of the length of one shaku and two sun on the back of your headwear. This should be changed each time. Point number four, if you have to travel long distances and you need to go horseback, perform wataguchi and tie the bit. And for those of you guys who don't know what wataguchi is, it's, it's, a, it's a bit that you tie into the horse's mouth uh, to keep them from making so much noise. So the topic today was what would a ninja wear on a night attack? What would the ninja wear on night raids? Now Fujibayashi is very clear and very descriptive. You would wear a black top, double layered, with a chainmail shirt. He was very clear about that. Now, we're going to use another source, which I kind of talked about in the beginning of the video. And this particular source that we're going to use, it's a book called The Way of the Ninja Secret Techniques by Masaaki Hatsumi. Okay, and in this book, it really gives a good visual as to what that would actually look like. The black double layer top with the chain mail and how that would be worn for ninja on night raids. In this book written by Masaaki Hatsumi, he has an image that says, chain mail to be worn underneath a ninja costume made of iron rings in laced on top of a cloth backing. He also goes on to show various pictures of the ninja mask and he says how the ninja mask 
uh, is used from a Sanjaku Tenegui, and you can also use a chainmail headpiece underneath the Sanjaku Tenegui as well. There's also a very good image of an individual wearing a double layered black top with chainmail sewn to it, and he's in complete gear. So basically in that image, it's the black double layered top, chainmail sewn to it, as talked about in the Bonsen Shukai. But in the particular image in the um, book written by Masaki Atsumi, he also says that you could continue to wear that and then you could put a costume or some sort of disguise over that if needed. So we also know that various different historical documents do talk about going in between Yonin and Enin and Yonin and Enin, and there's times where you're gonna have to go back and forth. So in that particular image, you, you clearly see him saying that here's what they would wear, it's a black top, chainmail sewn onto it, but you could also wear this underneath the disguise if needed. And I think that's a, a good point there. So there's today's video on what a ninja would wear on a night attack. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do post two to three videos every single week. Now in today's video, I did use two different sources to help create this video for all of you guys today. Now the first source was the Bonsen Shukai written in 1676 by Fujibayashi Yasutake. Again, the Bonsen Shukai is known as the Bible of Ninjutsu. Now the quotes that we use from the Bonsen Shukai comes from the English translation of the Bonsen Shukai. And that book is called The Book of Ninja. And this book was written by uh, Anthony Cummins and Yoshi Minami. All the information about this particular book is going to be in the video description below. I also reference a second source, and that particular book is called The Way of the Ninja, Secret Techniques by Masaaki Hatsumi. Again, all information about this book is going to be below in the video description. Now, if you guys are interested in training in authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu, please check out my website at budodunijutsu.com. There you guys can see a list of the seven traditions, the different principles and strategies and philosophies that we teach. If you don't live next to one of our schools, you can always join the Buddha Dukai online ninjutsu dojo and start training with us that way. So thank you guys very much for your love and support. I deeply appreciate it. Until next time, take care, be safe, and good luck in your journey of Budo. Bye.